brand new fuel filter. Now just pulling off a small little nut off the edge there and the carburetor to then pull off these two fuel bowl screws that I've got carb cleaner to now clean out with. Once you remove the two well, those fuel drains there, you want to grab a little bit of your throttle carb cleaner and stick it in the hole and just give it a real bloody good squirt. I've also changed the fuel filter so that's going to help as well to clean up any of the stuttering. And also you want to open up inside there and also pull back the choke and then give that all a clean and clean all in the holes there. So what I've done here is there was originally a fuel, or not a fuel, a vacuum rail that ran along into here and I've now deleted that so it hasn't got any of the vacuum rail and I'm just running factory hard lines with T's into everything so I've got this running into here then that's teed off and it comes down into this main piece into here which is beside the brake booster and then I've got all my lines braked off and teed off or off onto these and then also I've got them two T's teed off into there. I just cleaned out all the fuel bowls and now I'm just spraying a little bit of throttle cleaner while the car's running just into all the intakes like that. Then opening up this one here and also spraying it into here and getting it all inside this one here and just let that clean all the jets out after I've cleaned that bowl. So the next thing I'll do is once I've let all the shit fuel come out, then I'll put new spark plugs in and gap them to 1.1 millimetres with a feeler gauge. Um, and then after that your 2 e should start to run out a little bit better. And you'll have to drain all the old gas out of your old gas tank. This is what the uh, motor sounds like now after I've changed all the spark plugs, cleaned the fuel, oh, the fuel filter, I've changed that. I've also cleaned the carburetor and all the fuel bowls, all in the jets. I've been perfect, nothing wrong with it, no weird shaking, nothing like that. I had a slight little shake for had a slight little shake beforehand and after I've done all this now it's all sweet. It's just about having the wrong type of fuel and all that sort of stuff in it. It runs perfect, it's at 30 degrees of timing. Um, all the vacuums are all removed on it, but it's still running the vacuum advance down in there. And I've just got a catch can, which is just an old strike can there, to get all the oil, or to catch all the oil for it. And it's got a three inch um, quad filter, and then just a stock AE92 um, strut bar. It's at about 205,000 Ks at the moment, and it's still going pretty strong.